Ever since the Industrial Revolution, automation has been steadily integrated into the workplace. Its effects are being felt across all industries, and many workers are worried that their jobs may be replaced. With recent developments in generative artificial intelligence, fields that before seemed untouchable were suddenly placed in jeopardy. This research review aims to learn about the approaches taken to automation in the past, as well as study the socioeconomic impacts in order to discover how we can prepare for this challenge. In the 1950s, the AFL-CIO was one of the largest labor unions in the country, representing workers throughout nearly every industrial field. As automation became more and more commonplace, union leaders agreed that welcoming automation was an essential strategy to ensure their workers' rights. But the union was unable to guarantee benefits for all their members, and many lost their jobs. Among those who remained, some were dissatisfied and left the AFL-CIO altogether. This tension motivated leaders even further, and they were able to make vital progress in ensuring the rest of their members were protected. Embracing automation in this way is the most common strategy, but it's not always so counterintuitively successful. Despite increased productivity, workers usually have significantly lower job security, and the company will hire fewer people overall. At around the same time as the AFL-CIO action, newspaper unions in New York City were considering a different approach. Recent advancements in publishing technology created pressure on the newspaper industry, threatening many jobs in nearly every step of the process. Local unions banded together to resist these advances, with members engaging in strikes and slowdowns in direct opposition to automation. Unfortunately, this resistance was mostly unsuccessful, and the unions eventually died out. This type of outright resistance is always pretty risky, but it's not always so unsuccessful. For example, earlier this year, the Writers Guild of America went on strike in opposition to the use of generative AI in the screenwriting industry. The strike lasted for months, but eventually they were able to guarantee security for their positions. Some other approaches exist that seek to adapt to automation without fully embracing or resisting it. For example, positions could be redefined to involve automation, instead of simply replacing the workers in those positions. Alternatively, workers could be moved to management positions where they oversee automation and train newer employees. The Associated Press is taking a unique approach where they allow the use of generative AI only in specific areas. Writers are forbidden from using it to generate articles in order to preserve the press's journalistic integrity, but they are experimenting with using it to generate headlines and digests, and allow language models to use old AP articles for training. Despite all the strategies workers have employed to combat the threat of automation, it has had incredible and irreversible impacts on the entire labor market. Millions of workers have been permanently displaced, and the amount of jobs automation has created meets only a fraction of that number. The share in the labor force between industries has changed massively too. There has been a massive decrease in blue-collar work in favor of white-collar middle management positions. It has been speculated that these changes will slow and stop eventually, but with the advent of artificial intelligence, there really just isn't enough information to tell. The effects of automation on the workplace are enormous and undeniable. Throughout the past two centuries, workers have attempted several strategies in response to automation threatening their positions, but have yet to discover a solution that will consistently ensure the security of their employment. More research needs to be done into these strategies and their effectiveness. We also need to know a lot more about the socioeconomic impacts of automation and how they can be addressed. If we can discover these solutions, we can ensure a prosperous future where the benefits of automation can be fully realized.